An honor guard emerges from the gate of heavenly peace. China, an economic powerhouse and global superpower, is celebrating its national day. Three quarters of a century after it was first raised, the flag of the People's Republic of China flies over Tiananmen Square. Just down the road, Mrs. Li is also marking her 75th year. Born in 1949, she lived a life in service of the state, first as a teacher, then a civil servant. Now living on a comfortable government pension, it's a big change from the world into which she was born. When I was a child, I didn't have enough to eat, and I didn't have enough clothes to protect me from the cold because you're hungry every day. When Mao Zedong proclaimed the foundation of the People's Republic on Tiananmen, he inherited a nation broken by war and poverty. In the decades that followed, tumultuous change as communist ideology grappled with the challenge of rapid social development. Mao's modern counterpart, Xi Jinping, was on the square paying tribute to China's fallen national heroes ahead of the anniversary. Let us set our sights on our goals, work together with determination and a pioneering spirit to jointly compose a more splendid and vibrant new chapter for the People's Republic. But celebrations are unusually muted this year. Stalling economic growth and a shaky real estate market have left questions over whether China's great leap forward might finally be slowing down. 75 years on, and this is as close as we can get to Tiananmen, which is just three kilometers down the road. Security is very tight, and the subway stations have all posted signs saying access to the public is closed. Mrs. Lee isn't too concerned. She never imagined she'd grow old in style. Now she's focused on staying healthy for the future and the challenges that lie ahead. Tony Chang, Al Jazeera, Beijing. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.